All right, what is going on my dude? So we are back here today with a very fun video that I'm very excited to make. So as you guys all know, there are going to be four champion buffs in February. We have Kingpin, Mole Man, Terax, and Yellow Jacket. Mole Man and Terax, they're like a value update Punisher 2099 type buff. And then Kingpin is gonna be more so like a, um, a Gambit Falcon type update. And then we have Yellow Jacket, who's somewhere between Magneto and Gambit type update, right? So he's going to be a moderate update, but he's more or less kind of like a watered down version of a full rework. Um, so we can expect Yellow Jacket to be the most different, okay? Um, we can expect um, Kingpin to be somewhat in a way reminiscent of what he is now, except much better. Like Gambit and Falcon are a world of difference between what they used to be and what they are now. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take Kingpin up to rank three. Um, we're going to awaken him got to go to the store and get the stuff. Um, we're going to awaken him, we're going to bring in the SIG 200, and we're going to really test this guy out at his max, see how he does right now, pre-buff, see how much he really needs it. So, um, prior to today, I never really played with Kingpin too much. Um, I recently pulled the 6-star from a uh, Nexus Crystal on Cyber Weekend, right? What is it, December? Yes, Cyber Weekend. Um, and... Before that point, I used him in like arena as a four star, like once, right? And um, I just, you know, I spent some time on Aunt May, reading his abilities, getting some ideas of how to use this guy, and I feel like I have an idea. And um, there is a synergy team that I have in mind to make this guy pretty useful, and we're gonna jump into Realm of Legends and try that out right away. So uh, give me a second here. This is gonna take some time uh, to load all these six stones in. I'm having a little bit of a slow connection today, so give me a second. So I threw together this synergy team, all right? So we have two of Kingpin synergies here, which is with Daredevil, and what that does for him is heavy attacks gain plus 60% attack and cannot trigger a passive evade. And we also threw this one along here, which is 15% more power when struck by a physical attack, all right? We'll talk about why that's important later. Um, over here, um, just plus 6% attack, blah, 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 doesn't matter. Um, this one is just gonna be plus some power gain with Daredevil, not the biggest deal. But this is the big one for me right here. This is the Mastermind synergy. And what this does is each time the opponent uses a special attack, they become power locked for six seconds. So why is that important? Well, because if we look at this one again, heavy attacks gain plus 60% attack and cannot trigger a passive evade. And what's the play style with Kingpin? Well, he loves to do those belly flops, right? So we're gonna do those belly bumps in the corner, chain those things, go passively unstoppable. We're gonna get, um, uh, what do you call it? The fury buff. And we're gonna have all that additional attack. And as well, we're also gonna have plus 20% armor along with gaining plus 50% more power when struck by a physical attack. So it, it's gonna be cool. This is definitely gonna be a good team for Kingpin. I haven't actually used it, but I have very high hopes for this, even unduped. Um, the thing is, man, the way that Kingpin enters his like overdrive mode, which is getting his like huge attack increase, right? That's when you have to get eight rage charges. Right off the bat here, you can see I have three. I start with two for my signature ability, um, but you have to get to eight. So how do we get to eight? Well, watch this, first of all, boom, no power. All right, check this out, boom, look at that. That's some decent damage right there, man. That is some decent damage right away. So we're gonna gain two rage charges here. Um, no, we didn't actually, because we have a fury buff. There we go, so that's good to know. Um, we can't gain a um, any rage charges when we have a fury buff. So that is good to know. So we're gonna cool down on that a tiny bit here. We should go, we should have went unstoppable. Okay, so his abilities say, Special attack two, 100% chance. Oh, I see. 100% chance to gain an unstoppable buff. And while unstoppable, each strike landed on Kingpin has a 100% chance to grant a rage. I hate that. I hope that's changed. Let's try this again. All right, so I now have a much better understanding of how to gain those rage charges from the special two. What we're gonna do here is get to a special two, go unstoppable, all right? And then just take a full combo to the face. Um, and that's gonna be pretty good here, all right? So we're gonna go unstoppable here. And now, let's go, hit us. One, two, three, four. Now we can go for these, two, three now we have two big fury buffs oh dude look at this that's crazy that is pretty insane man yeah so it doesn't last too long but then we could 
go for another one here, and we're going to be unblockable again. So hit us. Hit us. One more time. There we go. And now we can do this. One, two, three. And now I'm pretty sure this special three refreshes this. All right, so we're getting something here. We're, get, we're getting, we're, you know, we're, we're learning. We're getting somewhere. We're figuring it out. As of right now, the play style isn't, um, you know, uh, too optimal for uh, being super useful. But this is um, pretty good stuff so far. I mean, the, dam the damage is unbelievable. Look at, look at this. This damage is crazy. Absolutely nutty, right? Um, so at this point, four rage charges. Very cool. One, two. We can go for a special two. Now we're going to go unstoppable through the block. That's fine. We want to get hit. Where is our unstoppable? We should have been unstoppable, right? Don't know why we didn't get that. Um, but that's okay. This guy is almost dead, man. The damage is really big with this guy. And I would assume, man, I, I do not know. I don't know anything about this guy's buff. But I would just, like, assume, right, that his buff has to do with, like, I don't know, it has to do with this overdrive and other stuff and just becoming a lot easier to activate it all. That would be my assumption, right? Um, so, yeah. So he definitely does a lot of damage, right? But is this, like, going to be super useful in, like, endgame content and other things? Well, we're about to find out. That's what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and take this guy into some actual content. All right, so we've arrived at this path here in 6.4.2, and this path is long distance relationship. Now, we see stuff like this all the time, right? Where you stay close to the defender or you're far away from the defender, blah, 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 blah. You gain a debuff, all right? So Kingpin Man, um, when it comes to shrugging debuffs, he has a 50% chance to shrug all debuffs and convert that into a rage. As you can see, when it comes to overpower, he needs eight combined rage or debuffs. So in this case, we should be able to enter overdrive pretty or overpower or whatever it's called pretty simply without taking too many hits from the special two right because as soon as we gain either four of these debuffs or you know there's a 50 percent chance to shrug them off here let's just see what happens all right I'm gonna close here we'll go for our heavies one two three one more of these and that should do it there we go check this out yeah and now this should refresh that fury, man. So we did have one long distance relationship uh, on us. So the special three is going to be a little bit less damage than we would have liked. But hey, man, that's totally fine. Um, so let's see here. We'll do some belly flops in the corner. Keep in mind, we're going to have plus 60% increased damage. Bait out a special one here. Nice. Belly flop. Go for another belly flop right here. That passive unstoppable is really, really nice to have. And look at this. We're back in overpower, man. So let's go for a nice huge special too, but she's already dead. We finished that fight at a full yellow bar. So that's not bad. That was actually pretty good. Um, you know, the thing is with this, is that the situation where, uh, you know, these, um, these nodes where you gain the debuffs and everything when you're close and whatnot, it doesn't happen too often. Um, I mean, actually, it does happen decently often, to be entirely honest, and they're very annoying nodes. Um, but, you know, first of all, just having a 50% chance to shrug this kind of thing off is, is nice to have. But you can almost just, like, parry, five-hit combo your way up to eight combined debuff and rages. So here we need one more of these, and we're about to enter. There we go. We got overpower. So one, two, three. We have two furies. And we can go for this. <laughs> nice, dude. And he's power locked. Go for one more heavy attack. And now we can refresh that fury with the special three. So, so far, man, this is really good. So I'm seeing a lot of potential from this guy with this buff. Because in these types of scenarios where you find yourself, you know, um, in those types of nodes where you have those unavoidable debuffs and whatnot, you can really just, like, start slaying the opponent down, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Special one. Nice. <laughs> Got a little nervous there for a second. Um, eh, took a couple hits here, but this guy's pretty tanky, man, especially with all these synergies that we're doing. But yeah, he's hitting some big numbers, man. I hope they increase his crit rate a little bit, but the damage, dude, it's not bad in, like, these odd scenarios, right? Um, I don't love having to get hit to enter overpower, overdrive, whatever it's called. Don't love that. 
um, unless there is like a protection sort of thing like the thing has, right? That'd be great, but he doesn't have that right now. So again, we're gonna have to gain four of these puppies. What's really nice is when they convert into rage right away. That is phenomenal. And I do believe there is a synergy he has um, that increases the chance plus 15% for that to happen. I might have that synergy with me. I'm not even entirely sure, but let's bait out the special two here. Nice. Now remember, we can refresh this with the special three, all right? Um, so I'm pretty sure Blade shrugged off that um, that power lock because he was at two bars of power and it activated before it went away. That would be my understanding there. But at this point, we should be able to go and chain some heavy attacks here in the corner against this guy. Um, oh, forgot about that. Oopsie daisy. That's all right. So I don't believe we can shrug anything off when we have overpower up, um, but we did just get what do you call it? Our um, nice little fury there. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like Mole Man in a way where he kind of loses a little bit of value to me. Like when he enters Frenzy, oh, well now his really incredible debuff um, thingy goes away. And that's like, oh, well that sucks. You know, but oh, dang, dude. oh no. All right. Um, but so yeah, we played that, we played that last bit a little risky, but um, overall, that was a pretty decent fight, right? Um, it's a little harder to take advantage of the Sinister Synergy when he's shrugging off that um, that power lock right away. But this passive Unstoppable, is, it's very nice. And even, look, with no Furies or anything, a 16k heavy attack is not bad at all. So his actual damage numbers is pretty good. And then when you add those two Furies on top of it, it turns into like a 27k heavy attack. That's pretty good. Um, so we're gonna keep going on this path here, man. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else I want to test him. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, the thing is, like his his shrug off is not 100% reliable, right? Let's just eat some combos to the face. That sounds like fun. The thing with the shrug off is like, if it was like 100% chance to shrug, which maybe they'll change it to that. Who knows? I mean, that's what Mole Man has, right? And I feel like that's not too overpowered. Um, but let's bait out the special one here. And one more of these little debuffs, and we should be good to go. Which should happen any second here. There we go, now we have our little Fury buff. Um, so at this point, man, we're gonna try and bait out a special two from this guy. Now we'll go for the special three. We're gonna go, we're gonna go crazy here, man. We're gonna push him right below a special three, and we're gonna bait out a special two. Um, but I just didn't want to lose that fury. So I feel like I really hope there's like a big extension to that overpower or overdrive fury. Um, I still have no idea what it's called, but that's okay. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, dude. Nice, that was cool. All right, so we got him in the corner here. We're about to lose our fury. Yeah, it's just like the, 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 the time on it is not all the way there, but we're about to go into overdrive again here in just a second. That's all right. Can we do it? One more, one more. One more. All right, we entered it right at the end there. So obviously this play style, you know, it, uh, it yields a lot of damage, right? But of course it's a little unrealistic. And that leads us to obviously why this guy is getting buffed. So if we look at Falcon and Gambit, right? They had, you know, Falcon had his plus 100% defensive ability, accuracy reduction and whatnot for years. But were you ever, ever using Falcon for anything, even though that piece of utility is phenomenal? Of course you weren't. Of course you weren't. Um, so just because Kingpin has this insane damage potential, are you ever using him? Of course you're not. But after his buff, will you? Ah, it might be very practical, man. So now we have both of our Furies up. We just got this guy in the corner. Look at all these belly bumps. Look at all the belly bumps, man. We can go for some more belly bumps here, but let's refresh our fury first. So, um, I, if I were to anticipate and guess what this buff is going to be, I think it's going to be much easier to enter overdrive. I think it's going to have some more effects. I think his uh, purification is going to probably be up to 100% against science champion, science champions. If I were to guess, um, maybe like 75% against all champions and 50% staying the same against mutants. But I do not know. I I've n I know nothing about this buff. I know nothing about any of these buffs yet. Um, but that would be my guess. And that's what I would like for it to happen, man. 
Um, so we're going to quit out of this now, but he's been going through this lane very, very well. I'm going to think for a second and find another place to test this guy out. All right, why not? We're in variant two. We have this special buff here. What is it? That's how Black Iso Mafia works. When the attacker is fighting as Kingpin, when the fight starts, the attacker gains a permanent buff at random. The defender gains a permanent debuff at random. This doesn't do too much for us, man, but let's just try this guy out in variant two. Might as well, right? Um, you know, they, they created this node for this guy. We might as well check him out. Um, but so far, I am uh, very, very, very optimistic about this buff because as of right now, I like this champion the way he is. Um, it's just impractical to play him. That's all it is. Is that a cruelty buff? Yeah, so our heavy attack's gonna be hitting like crazy. And we can just do that. Yeah, oh, dude. Yeah, this is fun. Look at this. We're not even gonna, we're not even gonna be able to enter overdrive because look at this. Oh, dude. Yeah, I mean, th this champion hits so hard. His attack, when he enters overdrive or overpower, I still don't know what it's called. I think it's overpower. Um, he gains like a plus 8,000 attack, and then you include the other fury, right? And that's a total of 10,000, so let's see. Overpower, there we go. 7,500 and then 22, so you, you pretty much, it's about a 10,000 attack buff. That's a lot. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but that is a lot. Um, we put a, we inflicted a shock on Wolverine here. Um, that's fun. Another thing, I think what they should do with this buff, you know, the whole take hits while you're unstoppable thing is really silly to me. I think it should just be take hits, gain rage. That's it. That's it. Forget about the whole um, have to be unstoppable thing. Make it easy. Why, why make you work so hard to get to a special two and then have unstoppable last for six seconds and then have to take six hits? Nah, it's silly. It's very silly. Um, so that needs to be changed, obviously. And this champion is very good, right? Eh, he's pretty good <laughs> the way he is right now. And he just needs some tweaks, and that's what's happening here. Um, yeah, I, and I love this synergy with Mr. Sinister. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Um, you know, what you can, what we're seeing here, what we're finding, is that it's just completely impractical to safely enter um, overpower quickly in these fights. And that's in this day and age when Cosmic Ghost Rider exists and Ghost exists and all these fantastic fun quick speedy champions exist. We don't want to be doing special three to gain two rage charges. We don't want to be doing special two and then taking hits to gain rage charges. That's silly. It's just honestly silly to be entirely honest with you. That's what it is. It's the best definition I have for it. Um, uh-oh, uh-oh, there we go. <laughs> Another thing, man. Yeah, because here's the thing. How come it's only when we're, um, unstoppable with an act with an active buff we gain the rage charges why can't it be when we're passively unstoppable i feel like it just needs to be every time we get hit in general we gain rage charges so that's what it should be all right um but yeah i'm actually i'm having much more fun playing with this champion than i anticipated having so that's cool that's definitely cool man um let's you know i'm gonna pause this here for a second we're gonna get up to the boss but we'll do the boss all right, here we go. Um, so we're at this yellow jacket boss now. I have no idea what this guy has. Um, uh, blah, 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 cornered, critical, limber, all this stuff that doesn't even matter to us. Let's see you know, what we do here, right? So right off the bat, there's no limber, so I'm gonna go, <laughs> nice. Let's just get this guy over to the corner, right? I don't believe he has unblockable special attacks, so I might, nah, we'll just bait it out properly, come on. So get this guy in the corner. Annoying. All right, so we might have to go with this method here after we bait out one more special one. We'll go unstoppable. Oh no, we have the fury buff. Damn it, that's such a stupid mechanic that has to be gone too, man. It makes no sense. It makes no sense why we can't get an unstoppable buff when we have a fury active. It's so silly. Um, so now we have the unstoppable, take some hits, one more hit, one more hit, <laughs> okay, sure, we'll take it. Oh, 
Yeah, this guy needs his buff for sure because we're gonna go stun, shrug it off. No, oh, dude. Oh my god. Stupid man. Yellow jacket's just dumb. <laughs> That's what it is. It's yellow jacket. It's not me. Uh, let's try one more thing here. So it's obvious that his damage is kind of nuts, kind of through the roof, right? So we're just going to take him up against Star-Lord, see how he does. I don't really anticipate killing this guy here, um, but I just want to see, you know, like, after like 100 or so hits, how we do. We, of course, have our Power Lock Synergy, which, by the way, I absolutely love. Um, it'd be nice if we shrugged off that stun, but hey. So we're gonna go ahead and go for the special two method and eat a couple hits while we're unstoppable, okay? So one, two, three, come on. There we go. Of course, we went, uh, we got a little uh, stun there as well. That's okay. So two, one more, three, and that will refresh that fury buff with the special three we took a lot of damage and this is what i hate about this guy this is like one of the only things i really dislike about this guy so far is that you know if there are no unavoidable debuffs you're just taking damage like like it's nothing you're taking damage like it's nothing but as you can see man um the damage is good he has good look at that he has great damage not even good he has great damage yeah he has really, really good damage here. And now, you know, what we can do in these longer fights is one, bait out a special one. Okay, we can go like one, two, three, go for a special three with that fury active. And this will gain two rage charges, but that's not enough. Special three has to put you into overpower mode. That's what it has to do because it's, you can't, like if you don't run the suicide masteries, you would have to use four special threes to activate overpower it's too much honestly it's 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 unrealistic and it's silly um yeah no no no, no. it's just like it needs to be changed and that's it's being changed it's, it's, it's getting a buff for a reason but i'm just like i don't it's so impractical here um it's just so impractical and now this special three is going to enter us into overdrive or overpower again one day i'll say the right one and, um, you know, so far we're making a big dent in Star-Lord, don't get me wrong. But it's like the playstyle is so unrealistic. So now we have both of our Furies here. And let's see what, you know, our damage is nice. Our damage is really nice. He has, like, a lot of damage on his heavy attacks, man. Like, a lot of damage. So that's... <laughs> but, you know, overpower, it lasts way too short, man. It's just too short. Ah. Uh, but look at those heavies. They're so nice, dude. They're so nice. Oh, limber. That's all right. Um, but we're making a very nice dent in this guy here. We really are. Uh, and now what we can do is, you know, we can, if we wanted to, do two more special threes. But I'm going to get this guy down to about 75%. And then we'll do it that way, right? Why, not, why don't we just pretty much end it here? Let's call it 80%. We'll see how many hits we did. We'll see how many times he hit us. After this special three, we'll take a couple hits to the face and we'll call it, all right? So let's see how much damage we did here. Um, let me get let me get a big special two, Star-Lord. Of course, we shrugged the shock, that's beautiful. There we go. Um, so let's see here. Successful hits and 132 hits. Okay, uh, we got down 20%. So that would be about 520 hits to kill him. It's not the worst, it's not the best. We got hit 19 times, including like the six at the end. Um, yeah, so obviously, Kingpin, he has a lot of damage. I think that this guy has a ton of potential for a buff. He is much, 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 much better than Falcon was pre-buff. Gambit was pretty good pre-buff already, to be entirely honest. He was uh, already pretty underrated. He had some stuff going on. He had some synergies and stuff. Kingpin is decent right now. He's just impractical. If they can take this core mechanic and just make it practical, make it usable in everyday, you know, content, he could be really good and I'm very excited for it. But anyway, my dudes, that's going to be it for this pre-buff video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop your boy a big old like. Comment what you think about Kingpin pre-buff and what you're hoping for post-buff in the comment section below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any other pre-buff rank up and gameplay videos coming to you very, very soon. I will be seeing you around.